Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for visiting. Today is another charm and a little show and tell in the usual. I started on the artsy stuff for the craft show. It's quickly approaching. Um, this is a little frame piece. Not sure what price I'm going to put on there. It's um, six by six. So let me know if you have an idea what I might sell these for. They take about three hours. Love my little bird. I have at least one more to make, maybe two. But I don't have any more wooden frames. Someone kindly found those for me in my craft group. And I went up and and I didn't find any more so I've been uh, I have a paper uh, shadow box paper frame I can use and if I want to make any more I can make another one of those but I think that'll be it for those um, I might do some collage on some mini canvases but I'm not sure yet I just want to do and I definitely want to try a couple of books. Okay, shout out today to Mary, Lola, Rosa, Joanne, Suzette, and Dana. Customers, glad you all liked your product. Thank you so much for taking the time to give me a review. I appreciate it very much. Um, what else? didn't see anything. The only thing I really watched this week was how to make those uh, shadow box frames because I forgot how. I have one here already I did a long time ago. I learned how to make a puzzle purse which took forever. So if I can find a way to um, teach that fast enough, maybe I'll do that in the future. But that's about all I saw interesting. So today, this is almost, this is so easy, it's almost embarrassing, but I hope you can catch that glitter on there. You see, there we go. And the embossing. Okay, today I'm going to try something a little different because I don't think the embossing showed up enough. And I'm going to give you a little trick to make these little rivet like things. If you don't have, I do have a riveter, but I can't do it myself or eyelet. Eyelet rivets, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so you'll just need what brought this on is my little scrap box. This holds all cardstock little scraps and it's been sitting here forever. And I went through and took out a bunch of colored ones, colored paper. Like so. And I thought, you know, it's been sitting here forever. I, generally, I grab something when I need a small piece of cardstock. But it's been there because I thought, oh yeah, I'll, I can stamp sentiments on that. Well, that never happened too often. So I thought I would make some little charms with it. 
So that's what I did. So you'll just need little strips or you can do a big bigger sheet, postcard, whatever, emboss and cut those into strips. And then I just, um, they're about a half an inch. And I glued two together, made sure they were the same size, glued two together, and then um, took them over and embossed them. So you'll need your little strips. You'll need some glue. And on top, I just put some glitter glue. So I have some glitter glue here, gold and silver whatever color you desire and today I think I'm going to try to accentuate the um, embossing with some since I'm using bright colors I'm probably going to try it with black ink and um, that's one thing I wish I would have I wish would have stayed a little more prominent and also what I did, I embossed them before I glued them together. So the backs are different, a different emboss. But since I like the pattern of this, this one embossing folder better, I'm just going to glue them together and then emboss. So as I said, these are about half an inch, and I'm not going to bother to cut them unless I have to. And as you can see, you know, these aren't the colors we would normally choose, but I'm using them anyway. Sometimes I don't mind bright colors. Use whatever, whatever you prefer. Just kind of cut a purple one down here. Let me see. This is how oh, I don't know. It's going to be hard to measure. And you make these any size you want the size of your scraps, whatever. And usually to even things up, I just take a pencil, make a pencil line or it doesn't even matter. I'll glue those together and cut them down after. So I think that's... Let me see. Cut this one in half so I can get a pink one. I think that's enough for me to get started here. So the craft show is quickly approaching. Okay. Get these glued together. And then I'll run over and emboss them real quick. I didn't I don't have enough room on this table as usual. bring that over here, but I think maybe next time if I'm lucky might be another a create with me I I wanted to do, I've been wanting to do one since June. 
um, just haven't had time to make it. But I finally thought of a finally thought of a project. Don't want to keep doing cards all the time, but that's why it's been a little a little challenging to come up with items to make that I can do a quick video. And then, oh, I forgot, if you have some metallic paper, like gold or silver, like that, or like that, you can use that, or you can just paint over a piece of packaging. I did, went over that with my um, marker pens. Probably going to do my corners too first because it took, they were a little hard to get in the punch after they were embossed. So I'm just taking my mini corner here, or you can just do that with scissors. See, I told you this was embarrassingly simple. Although I might have a might have another charm. I don't know. I have to um, have to find the items. I keep forgetting when I go to the store. Upstairs walking around. School will be starting soon. I've pretty much given up on summer. I had this color because I did all those little purses for girls. And then I had to come up with something for boys. So I used all that brick color cardstock and made a whole bunch of those little six pack, Hershey Nugget six pack. Hopefully that'll be good enough for boys because I do not have any paper or anything. Stickers, nothing that would be suitable for boys. And I didn't feel like going and spending a bunch more money. So, okay. That one needs trimmed. So there we go. First step. Just going to run over here, throw these in the folder, and I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves, or I should probably cut that out. As Gail would say, talk amongst yourselves. Speaking of which, 
Oh boy, I don't know. I hope this isn't talking out of turn. I don't know what happened, but something must have happened that she decided. I'm talking about Gail Agostinelli here. That she decided that she was no longer going to be doing Etsy shares. Whatever happened, it's a real shame because if it wasn't for her, I don't know if I would have ever made a sale on Etsy. She's the reason she's the reason um I even um continue the tradition. So if anyone knows what happened, private message me because I want to avoid the the same thing if it was something detrimental to a shop or to a channel. I guess you never know these days. So I'm just taking some black ink. Maybe I better use my stays on, although I don't think Memento runs, but Probably better go with this. And I'm hoping Okay. I thought about inking up my folder, which would also be cool because I thought about inking up both sides of my folder and then you would get a different effect on each side of your piece. So, I thought that might be cool. I don't think I'm gonna, don't think I'm gonna um, ink the back side just because um, you know, I'll get the, I'll get a different pattern. And I think since these are very bright colors, I'll, um, there, that helps tone down those colors quite a bit. And helps me keep the interest after I put the glitter, which I thought, <laughs> since they are a charm, I wanted to bling them up a little bit, but you can also just, you know, I'm going to show you that real quick and then I'll try one on the back just to see how it looks. See? Okay, let's try it back. See what happens. But that would, oh, that's not bad. Okay, that's kind of cool. So I guess I'll do them all. And again, you could do this with circles. Doesn't have to be these little strips. I just um, my thought was I just want to um, 
clear this box out a little bit. Oh, I can't wait until this show is over. I can't wait to get back to. more creative things and I am definitely going to tackle this room that's for sure okay so I think while I wait for that to dry a little bit I'll show you how to do these and I forgot to say you need two punches and I meant to look this one up But I'm pretty positive it's an eighth of an inch. This, these are those tiny, tiny hole punches. So, okay, be careful with this because these are going to fly everywhere. Just going to poke a little series of holes. And you're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me for how fiddly this is, but then you're gonna take your larger punch, which quarter of an inch. And you're just gonna make some little metal reinforcers. And I put one on the back and the front. So there's another fabulous idea if you don't have the tools, which I don't either, and that is on, well, it's kind of on my list. You know, when I was doing those tiles, I thought, boy, that would look so great with a rivet. But eyelet, eyelet rivet. <clears throat> but mine, um, I can't do it by myself. I have to have my husband do it. And I don't have a crocodile and... Since the rivets, mm, that one might have went off the table. I think it did. The rivets, and maybe the fact the length of it. You know, for this corner punch and all that, I'll, I won't use it for that. I'm kind of at the point where, you know, my room, as I said many times, I only have so much space. I'm not taking up another room, at least I hope not. It's supposed to be my daughter's painting room. Okay. Here you go, there's your little rivets. And then Dry enough. Take your tiny hole puncher. I'll do that one. That one's cool.
your little hole where you desire. And then, um, yeah, probably it would be a good idea just to make a little palette. Put the glue on there with my finger. I know, don't kill me. This is the hardest part. You know what? It would help if I had maybe, no, maybe my tweezers are actually too big. So actually I just scooped up one little side of glue. Scooped it up. Yeah, it's fussy, all right. my tweezers. A tiny pair of tweezers will work better, but I don't have any down here. So just scooped enough on one side. That's good enough. As long as it sticks. I'm not going to do them all here on camera because we still have to do the glitter. Oh, jeez. Glue on my finger. Oh, boy. Don't drop it. Keep it tight. Okay. Yeah, that took the most time. But you get the drift. I'll do the rest of these off camera. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me turn this paper over. There you go. See that rip it? Okay. Where are we? 29. Jeez, I thought this would take 20 minutes. Um, get another little palette. That's the best thing to do when working with glitter. Um, maybe I'll do... No. Let me see. I was going to make up some colored glitter glue, but I didn't. See how well this one does. Oh, I forgot to put a hole in that one. Hardly has any glitter in it. 
Okay. I don't like that glitter glow. Dollar Tree, of course. Yeah, there's ten times more glitter in the other one. I can tell just by looking at it. Although you might like that. Not quite so much. You might want yours a little more subtle, or you might not want glitter at all. And it takes forever to dry, even when you put a very thin coat like I'm doing. So I hope everyone's doing great. Well, guess what? Oh boy, I don't even know if I should relate this. Um, drove the whole way up to Cherry Springs. Oh, my daughter, I wanted to do something with her before school and she wanted to invite her friend, and her friend could only go on one day, and the weather claimed it was going to be partly cloudy, and then clearing in the evening. And we get up there. I'm never going there again in July, that's for sure. The height of summer and hoping for the um, <laughs> stars to come out because you'll be waiting till 2 o'clock in the morning, which is 2 and 3 a.m. is actually the best time anyway. So we sat there until 11. 11 o'clock, just waiting for it to get dark. And um, sure enough, instead of clearing it, the clouds rolled in. And there's virtually nothing else to do there except look at the stars. So we had a picnic and that was about it. I'm not going up there. I'm not trying that again until like September, October. Okay, I probably because these take so long to dry. I'm trying to put the lightest coat possible. So that um, you don't have everything sticking everywhere. And don't forget, you you could do this in one sheet and then cut them up. That would be fast. That would be super fast but I'm just using scraps. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna finish these up on camera. I don't know if you can see the glitter on those because the black is kind of, but it's there. And actually I like those. I really like those. I can't, I can barely see the glitter myself. So maybe I'll have to put another coat, but it's there. And there you go. 
and I might see if I can um, well maybe I'll just leave two because some are kind of you know shabby chic so that's two different styles okay here you can see the glitter a little bit okay everyone that's about it. I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.